Meet our sun, the giant ball of gas that keeps our solar system warm and bright. The surface temperature of the sun, also known as the photosphere, is around 5,500 degrees Celsius. That's insanely hot. But did you know that there are things right here on Earth that can get hotter than the surface of the sun? Sounds incredible, right? Today, we're going to dive into 10 fascinating phenomena that rival or exceed the temperature of our own sun's surface. And stick around, because later in the video, we'll answer an intriguing question. What's the hottest thing humans have ever created? Get ready to be amazed. 10. Let's start our countdown with something you might not think about every day. Industrial furnaces. These mighty machines are used in various industries, from metal smelting to glass production and ceramics. They can reach temperatures exceeding 1700 degrees Celsius. That's more than three times hotter than the melting point of steel. The extreme heat in these furnaces is essential for melting and shaping materials that require very high temperatures to process. Industrial furnaces showcase human ingenuity in harnessing and controlling extreme heat for manufacturing and production. 9. Let's continue our countdown with something you might find in a high school science lab or a construction site. Thermite reactions. This chemical reaction involves metal powders, like aluminum, reacting with metal oxides, like iron oxide. When ignited, the reaction can reach temperatures exceeding 2,500 degrees Celsius. That's hot enough to weld railway tracks and create intense heat that can cut through metal like butter. But as hot as it is, it's just the beginning of our list. 8. When a spacecraft re-enters the Earth's atmosphere, it experiences extreme friction, generating temperatures of up to 2,700 degrees Celsius. The heat shield on the capsule is designed to absorb and dissipate this heat, protecting the astronauts inside. It's a fiery, high-speed plunge through the atmosphere, hotter than molten lava. 7. When we think of rockets, we often imagine them soaring through the sky, leaving a trail of fire and smoke. But did you know that the temperature inside a rocket nozzle can exceed 3,300 degrees Celsius? The combustion of rocket fuel creates incredibly high temperatures necessary to propel the rocket into space. These nozzles are designed to withstand and direct this intense heat, making space travel possible. 6. Now let's dive underwater to meet the pistol shrimp. This tiny marine creature has a powerful weapon, its claw. When it snaps its claw shut, it creates a cavitation bubble that collapses with such force, it generates a shockwave reaching 4,700 degrees Celsius. This mini-explosion can stun or even kill small prey. It's a remarkable example of how even the smallest creatures can harness incredible power. Now, let's turn up the heat. 5. Next up, we have plasma arcs. These are used in industrial applications, such as welding and cutting metals. A plasma arc can achieve temperatures of up to 20,000 degrees Celsius. Imagine a controlled lightning bolt that can slice through thick steel. These arcs are essential for precision tasks, harnessing immense heat to manipulate some of the toughest materials on Earth. 4. Speaking of lightning bolts, did you know that a lightning strike can reach temperatures of around 30,000 degrees Celsius? That's five times hotter than the surface of the sun. When lightning strikes, it causes the air to expand rapidly, producing the thunderous sound we hear. The extreme heat and pressure create plasma, a state of matter where electrons are stripped from atoms, resulting in a brilliant flash of light. It's nature's very own high-voltage, high-temperature spectacle. 3. Now let's talk about something with truly destructive power, nuclear explosions. During World War II, the United States dropped two atomic bombs on Japan. The first bomb, Little Boy, was detonated over Hiroshima on August 6, 1945. The explosion generated temperatures of approximately 300,000 degrees Celsius at its center, causing immense destruction and immediate loss of life. Just three days later, on August 9, 1945, another bomb named Fat Man was dropped on Nagasaki. 
This explosion also created a fireball with temperatures reaching several hundred thousand degrees Celsius. These brief yet intense heat events are stark reminders of the destructive power we harnessed in the 20th century. The core of a nuclear explosion can reach temperatures of millions of degrees Celsius, far exceeding the sun's surface temperature of 5,500 degrees Celsius. Two, finally, at the top of our list, we have laser-induced plasma. High-powered lasers can be focused onto a small point, creating a plasma that can reach temperatures of millions of degrees Celsius. This technology is often used in inertial confinement fusion experiments, where lasers are used to compress and heat a small pellet of fuel to initiate nuclear fusion. It's an incredibly hot and precise way to recreate the conditions at the core of stars right here on Earth. 1. What if I told you that scientists can recreate temperatures similar to the Big Bang right here on Earth? Particle colliders, like the Large Hadron Collider, smash particles together at near light speeds. These collisions produce temperatures of up to trillions of degrees Celsius, recreating conditions similar to those just after the Big Bang. Scientists use these extreme conditions to study the fundamental particles that make up our universe. It's like a high-tech, super-hot particle smash-up derby. If you're intrigued by the wonders of our universe, don't forget to subscribe and click here to watch this next video about what was there before the Big Bang for more interesting mind quests that change the way we see our world. Join us on this journey to uncover the secrets of our cosmos.